Hi everyone, this is Smruti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. And uh, today we are going to learn about the uh, different types of the plugins that are going to be used in our automation framework. And then we'll look into the parallel execution, right? How can we exactly achieve the parallel execution? Okay. So before doing that, let's go and see any of the run results is there. Okay, it is there. Okay. So last run result is there. So I just want to show you how exactly it is running. Okay. So if you see, uh, if you see here, right? So using auto detected provider org dot apache dot maven dot surefire dot j unit four dot j unit four provider. Okay. So let's take a screen grab of this one. So this is how it was running earlier. Okay. So this is using g unit 4 provider because of which our executions are all sequential okay so now we have to get rid of this and we have to go to the parallel execution okay so for parallel execution uh before going to the parallel execution let's understand the different types of the plugins okay so you can see in our pom.xml we already have added the plugins so first one is the maven compiler plugin what exactly this maven compiler plugin do it is used to compile your code okay so that is the job of the maven compiler plugin right we have been actively using all this time and now the version is 3.11.0 source is 21 target is 21 this is the version of the java okay and now if you uh, see there is one more plugin two more plugins are there i have uh, commented them out that is the surefire plugin we're not using it at actively by default it uses that surefire plugin also if you see here right so this is coming from the maven.surefire.junit4 unit4 provider right so but what exactly the surefire plugin do right the surefire plugin it handles the unit test cases execution right so whatever the unit test cases you have written right so those are going to get executed right and uh, it is going to stop the build process if any of the test is failed right if any test is failing so it will stop the execution okay entire build process will be stopped okay so then there is one more maven failsafe plugin okay so what exactly is this maven failsafe plugin right if you see maven surefire and here maven failsafe plugin right so what exactly is this failsafe plugin and here few things are there if you see we are uh, specifying few goals like integration test and verify right so integration test uh, goal is to run your integration test and verify is to check right if the integration tests are passed or not right those are the two goals we have and here if you see include stash stash slash cucumber runner dot java but if you see here right this is cucumber runner dot java and what is our runner we can open this one java cucumber runner see so now we are saying cucumber runner test right so this is cucumber runner test and uh, this is your cucumber runner dot java okay so those are not same okay because we are not using it at all and it is going with the junit4 junit4 provider okay so we are not using it at all okay so by default cucumber runner test is getting picked up and it is running and here we have the parameters for the parallel execution right so we are saying parallel equals to methods and thread count equals to i am giving three thread counts okay methods and whatever you say now only we have the capability to run the features in parallel not the uh, individual scenarios or methods right so we are saying uh, so here uh, if you see i have only one feature i can make multiple features uh, here so we will see all those features are going to get executed in parallel and per code thread count you should consider that per code thread count okay and uh, for count reuse for those things are also there we can uh, keep it or we can comment it out also okay so that depends on your configuration how you are going to do so for time being let me do one thing let me um, okay so what uh, i'll do uh, okay so this fail safe plugin one more point i uh, forgot to tell you in the fail safe plugin what happens you know so if any of your uh, like uh, integration test and verify i already told right so if any of your uh, thing is going to fail here not this one here so if your uh, steps are failing or your integration test is failing it will not right away stop the execution process build execution process okay it will allow the post integration phases to execute where usually the cleanup course will be there right so okay so now uh, if we want to run it in the parallel right so we have to do some changes so let's first enable this plugin okay so this plugin fails a plugin so control shift slash okay so we enable now this plugin 
so after the plugin is enabled so we, we now have the magan files of plugin okay so now let's uh, update this cucumber runner okay so let's re uh, let's refactor rename so we are going to rename and we are going to say cucumber test uh, cucumber runner okay get rid of the name test okay from the name get rid of the keyword test okay so now if you see cucumber runner this is exactly matching with your cucumber runner dot java okay perfect okay so till now everything is working fine okay so now what we need to do okay so we can go ahead and start running it right so before running uh in how many ways we can run we can run from the runner we can run from the maven runner let's run the maven runner okay so edit configuration clean test okay so okay let's run the maven runner and see what is happening it should identify this uh, through this uh, plugin it should identify the cucumber runner dot java and then it should start uh, going to that runner and start executing but what happened here right so if you see what happened so the build was successful right build was successful but it could not identify this one and it could not run so the reason is like uh, we need to provide few parameters actually so clean test is not uh, enough to run it okay so for this one how to do so you go to your terminal okay and in the terminal okay so okay fine so now what you will say in the terminal you will say mbn okay let's say clean let's say verify okay so this is the command what you need to type okay so before running this one uh, i'll do one thing so let's say cucumber runner uh, how many uh, features are there so one feature is there so copy copy so let's paste it one more time user posts to dot feature okay and i'll have one more let's say user post three dot feature okay so where is this paste user post three dot feature okay three dot feature so now let's say user post to let's update this one so feature instead of verifying i'll just give some number so that we can quickly understand okay which features are running now okay and user post feature 3 so feature let's give uh, x y z x y z okay, like that we give some random numbers and uh, random markers okay so fine so i think this should be good okay so now let's uh, try to hit this command and let's see what exactly is going to happen okay so i believe we have given uh end to end right uh in the runner let's check quickly that one yes it to it okay so now let's uh run mvn clean verify and let's wait and see what is happening what's happening okay see started building okay building compelling the sources oh see so now here it is changed to using auto detected provider or apache maven surefire dot j unit core dot j unit core provider right can you see now what is the change right so okay see see parallelly how fast it is executing there was a failed scenario also right so because of that it is failing but if you see uh, here you can see right how it is executing so let me go to the here okay so if you see um, okay parallel execution see so first running this one okay so this one it is running it started the execution execution pool 3 thread 3 okay that is getting executed now on this particular call and now if you see pool 3 thread 2 is getting called okay so now this thread is getting called okay so if you see uh, and here if you see e2 e regression here pool 3 thread 3 again th thread 3 came right so now you can see right this is this is executing properly pool 3 thread 3 it's getting executed now right so if you see this is how the parallel execution will happen right it we don't have the control which one is going to pick up which one is going to get executed if you see this is the 201 in response that failed scenario right 
so that also we can see right so this is how you can run your tests in parallel and let's see the report okay so what is the change in the report spark report.html let's see this one since it is parallelly executing were there any see okay so let's see here the tabular format okay so no, this one this one bug right okay this is the exception okay so 32 scenarios see 27 scenarios first three scenarios failed 123 skipped okay so this much of time it took 18 okay so 18 seconds it took and uh, everything got finished right so you see like features three features failed okay so feature wise it is failing like uh, three features like every feature has that uh, failures okay so if you get rid of those uh, that particular scenario then it will execute so this is how exactly you see the parallel execution happens okay with the help of your plugin which plugin is that that plugin is nothing but your uh, cucumber uh, sorry that is uh, maven helse plugin right and in the maven helse plugin where is that uh, pom.xml okay in the helse plugin we are giving the uh, runner and we are giving the uh, third count equals to three so whatever uh, like there are three so three of them are getting executed parallelly if four are there three of them will get executed parallelly one will be in queue state right so any any of the thread is free now anyone executes the uh, finishes the completion uh, finishes the execution that thread will be free that will pick up the fourth one right so this is how it uh, usually works okay so let me commit this code okay so implement I would say Maven Felsa login Maven Felsa login and uh, what else uh, Maven Felsa login and uh, uh, we did this uh, parallel execution right and parallel execution and you should remember there are two types of the executor one is the JUnit uh, 4 provider which runs it sequentially all the tests are running sequentially but when you uh, use this uh, maven failsafe plugin and specify the parallel execution attribute over there and give the runner information in that case it is going to switch to the JUnit core dot JUnit core provider okay and because of that it is going to get executed in the parallel so I can commit oh before that I need to unstage okay every time I forget to stage okay so let's commit so this is done so if i go to get uh, i should say two times okay yeah this is before uh, staging and this is after staging okay so we should always stage the changes then we should commit okay so my bad okay so now uh, you saw the parallel execution is also done and everything is done so now our entire framework is ready okay we have reporting we have log 4j we have uh, proper folder structure right we have everything ready so now what we need to do we need to uh, push this code to the remote repository and then we have to uh, start using it okay so that will see in the next class okay so thank you everyone and please subscribe to my channel key automation classes if you have guys have any doubt please put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible okay please like the content and subscribe the channel and uh, if you have any question put them in the comments thank you everyone bye bye